Thank you. New now at 11 o'clock. Tonight, Johnson C. Smith, a private university, says it will require students to be fully vaccinated if they want to return to campus in the fall. This is only the latest of a growing list of colleges and universities to make this exact decision. Our Brandon Hamilton is live tonight after talking with school staff, Brandon, and students. So what is their reaction? Well, Molly, JCSU has nearly 1,300 students in total, so I'm told the big push in all of this was, one, to make sure they were able to return to normalcy, and two, getting those students back to campus safely. It's the spirit and vibe that you just have to feel in person. Last year, the pandemic closed JCSU's campus. Homecoming was virtual, classes stayed remote. It was uh, a little difficult, but after a while, I just kind of got used to it. This fall, life pre-COVID, but students will have to be fully vaccinated before returning to campus. So if this is one more step that gets us back to resuming classes, or better yet, if this helps us get back to having homecoming, then this is the right decision at this time for our community. Students reacting to this decision. It will feel a lot better that knowing that everyone will have it. Well, honestly, I thought that it was a, a great decision. I understood it in a way because we have a lot of older faculty and staff. JCSU says they talked to health experts and other colleges and universities before deciding. In the heart of Charlotte's Beatty's Ford Road and as a well-respected historically black university, students say this could also help combat vaccine hesitancy. People in the community were like, well, hey, they're requiring their students in order to have a normal campus life again to get vaccinated Maybe this is something that I should consider. While not everyone is on board, the university says they're working with those who have concerns. Students can be exempt for religious and medical reasons. For this group, the countdown is on. Being on campus, uh, being back in the classrooms, being able to communicate with your, your friends. Just being able to have my last year on campus after everything that I've been through, we've been through. And Molly, to those three students that I talked to, they all have either started their vaccination process or plan on getting their shots. Now, again, Johnson & Wales University and Livingstone College are their two other local universities and colleges in our area to require vaccinations for students. Reporting live tonight in Charlotte, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV, on your side. Brandon, thank you.